In spite of Satan's best efforts this morning, we're still going to serve the Lord. Amen. Uh, in spite of his best attempt right, that he thought our way, we're still going to lift up the name of Jesus. Right. Still going to do it. Yes. Still going to do it. Why? Because he's still worthy. Right. Still yes. worthy. Uh, I thank God this morning that now Satan is a double loser. Right. He done lost and he lost again this morning. Right. Ain't going to steal our joy. Right. We're going to keep on in spite of his best efforts. We can keep our eyes and minds stayed on Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. Matthew 27, you got to say amen. amen. Ain't got to say, hold on. Matthew 27, probably going to be like any, not like any Mother's Day message you ever heard, probably. And probably never again <laughs> ever heard. Matthew 27, verse 32. As they came out, they found a man of Cyrene, Simon by name. Him they compelled to bear his cross. Let's pray. Gracious heaven, Father, Lord, God, right now, Lord, the Bible for you, Father. God, we just ask, God, we implore, we beg you, God, to have your way, Father, amongst your people, though you can. God, be amongst lost and done, that's you, your son, Father. I pray only you can. God, this be the day you draw them, Father. God, this be the day you convict them, God. This be the day you transform them, Lord, God, and save them, Father, as only you can, God, conforming to your image, Lord. God, I pray that only you can, God, that, Lord, for the rest of us, Father God, that might be struggling, God, might be down and out, Lord God, going through some things, Father, that come by as only you can, God. Lord, continue to breathe, Lord God, in our ears, Lord God, into our lives, Father, let us know, God, that you love us, Father, that you care for us, Father, and how special, God, every single one of us are to you, Lord. God, I love you and thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Walk across the aisle, shake somebody's hand, thank good to see you this morning.
chapter 27. Matthew chapter 27. Matthew 27. Matthew 27. Matthew 27. God will be our help this morning for a few moments. I'm this beautiful day God has given us. We have dancers at the church now. We're getting big time. <laughs> Brad taught her everything she knows. If we can want to focus on a thought out of that one verse, when God tagged you as it. When God tagged you as it. Now, growing up in Matthew, has anybody ever played hide and go see? Yes. We played all that. Played three, tagged four. Yes. It, but the game that I hated more than any other game was when somebody said, tag your ear. <laughs> I mean, it was going to take place any time, any place. You had no clue. You might just walk up. What do you do? Tag your ear. <laughs> and it said, take my gun. And it always run. It always run to an imaginary place they made that was their safe place. <laughs> they get there, they say, you can't get me here. <laughs> you ever been there playing that stupid game? <laughs> And thought, who makes up these rules? Because this is the dumbest game I've heard in all my life. Well, what happened was, when I got explained the rules to it, I found out that I can go tag anybody. <laughs> <laughs> it is pretty fun to be it. Well, back in the road, back when they were fun people, and cool people used to go roses. Yeah. <laughs> Remember that thing? That's been about 35, well, it don't matter. It's been a long time. <laughs> And yeah, we'll be in a mile over there, and back in it's just so cool. Just be walking along, you know, and say, Tag your ear! <laughs> and just take off running, man. And everybody's sitting there going, <laughs> Like, what in the world just happened? And what we did was to have a big old brick thing and get back and say, This is my safe spot, you can't get me here. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know that you can tag the wrong person? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> that ain't up to playing your games that don't care about your safe place and will tear your tail up can I get a witness if you ain't careful yeah, yeah, yeah. but the thing is if God will be a help like I, said, I want to focus on when God tags you as it is now here we see a picture of Simon the Serenian and his thing that so little was wrote about him, but yet so much was wrote about him. Matter of fact, I got to give it first out at like four o'clock in the morning. And what God said was, Tag your ear. <laughs> and I was like, I don't want to do this verse. God said, Don't worry, you ain't going to have to. I'm going to do it. Right. I said, I'm going to do it, Lord. Simon of Serenium, I didn't look up any information about it at all. I didn't Google him, I didn't Wikipedia, I didn't want nobody else's influence on what he was doing up to this time in his life. What matter was, there come a time in his life God said, Tag. Here it, is. Uh, yeah. it was at this time as well, but more likely, like most of us, he was minding his own business, watching life go along. And might have had kids, we don't know. Might have had a family, we might be in the marketplace. And don't you know when God shows up, He don't care where you're at. When God has selected you and chosen you, He don't care where you're at, who you're with, when He does it. And the Bible said, here He was minding His own business. But here comes Jesus carrying the cross. The Bible said that it's Christ was carrying his cross. We know the other scripture said he stumbled and he fell. Here Simon was, or some called Simeon, minding his own business. There was the show, so to speak. And all of a sudden, somebody came by and said, Hey, you're in. You're in. Carry that man's cross. 
Simon had a choice he had to make. He could have said, no, I'm good. Yeah. That man carried his own cross. Or oh, he could do what he did and he could bow down. Yeah. You know, it's coming today for those that do not believe. Right. See, right now you have a choice. Are you going to follow him? Come on. Right, 
Matter of fact, nobody can come to the place that you least likely want Christ to show up at that <coughs> point. Matter of fact, I show you how my grandmother ruined my dating days. Because <laughs> <laughs> I would always go to the movies. And I tell you, my mama would always send me down to talk to my grandma before I went to the movies. <laughs> <laughs> and it's what you always say. Jesus loves you so much. I love you so much. I can't go with you or I would, but Jesus will be sitting right beside you. So what she was saying was, time. Never fail. Most of the time I pick the phone up so I can't go. I can tell why. <laughs> I mean, what, what can you do with that? <laughs> I mean, Jesus is going to go to the No, you might go to the movie. That's what all of you do anyway. <laughs> Anybody ever been there for? Yeah. Do not raise your hand. <laughs> <laughs> and before you act all holy and all stuff like that, <laughs> don't act like you ain't never paid for a G movie and snuck in our movie. <laughs> <laughs> Teresa, am I telling the truth? Exactly. But we all have a choice of decision we have to make. Well, the Bible said here they compelled him to carry Jesus Christ. Yeah. Now, when they compel him, I want to let you know that they convinced him with force. Oh, yeah. Now, here's the thing about loving God. The Holy Ghost will come where you are and convict you. Yeah. And he will convict you with force. Yeah. But what the Holy Ghost job is to do is when he convicts you of your wrongdoing, he does this. Hey, you're it. And then what the Holy Ghost will do is after He has convicted you and robbed you, He'll just sit back and get out of the way. Because what happened next, it's on you. I'm afraid there's coming a great waking up for the church. Not the body of Christ, the church. And those in the church that's going to find out one day when we stand before a holy God, that he said this, I tagged you and you was it, but you did nothing. Did nothing. Now I ain't gonna lie to you. Anytime I ever got tagged in, there'd be one or two might have. There'd be a five to my heart tagged in. Because you know we done with smack off. Breaks off each other. And we always done with somebody's son burning out a shirt on. So they couldn't deny they was it. Does anybody know what I'm talking about? <laughs> oh, you're it. There's evidence on your back. You must understand by the conviction of the Holy Ghost, you'll never stay with the Holy God. He said, I never know what kind of happened of the Holy Ghost has been running across your heart. All God will have to do is look at your heart and say, hey, the evidence is there. You can't deny it. And then he'll also see this. Not only is the evidence there, he'll also see that he's not there. Yeah. Yeah. Listen, you're never going to fool Jesus mm -hmm. into thinking right. that he saved you when he did. That's right. And the Bible said they compelled him to carry Jesus' cross. Matter of fact, the Bible said to bear his cross. Mm -hmm. Now, I told you when it got hit too hard, it'd be a fight. But more than likely what we did was there was a chase ensued. Mm -hmm. 
And I never have understood why, but you always want to get back to the one that smacks you in. That would be all kind of other people around, but you bypass all of them to go for the one that got a hold of you so you can get them back. Well, here was the thing, is that I would turn and I would chase after whoever it was with everything I had. And I wouldn't stop until I got to where they were. Now, mm -hmm. what used to happen was they got to their safe spot. Right. But you do know in the rules, if you make them up like we did, <laughs> that if somebody got knocked out of their safe spot, you could tag them as it. Yeah. <laughs> and that happened on more than one occasion. <laughs> But the same thing happens when God convicts a man and woman of sin. If you got to choose to get away from that sin, right. and here's the thing. What Jesus wants you to do is follow him but chase after him as fast as you can. Yeah. Put everything in the heel that you did the work. Yeah. And I'm afraid that in 2018, where we have gotten confused Oh, who's going to heaven? Who's going to hell? It's church attendance. This ain't popular and I could care less. But going to church does not qualify you to live forever with Jesus. It never has and it never will. Reading your Bible through 478 times will not qualify you to spend eternity in heaven with Jesus and miss hell. Yeah. Don't matter who your parents was, your grandparents was, your no. great parents, none of that stuff don't matter. No. Don't matter. No. No. Let me tell you something. If my grandmother could have got saved, there would be nobody going to nail. She would get saved for everybody else. <coughs> because, honey, she loved souls. She loved people and didn't want nobody going to hell. But when it's all said and done, we've got to understand this. That good feelings is why we're in shape we're in the Can I get a witness? That good feelings is why the church ain't got no power now. Everybody wants to come together, be patted on the back, all how good it's okay. Time Time or a change. You ever heard that bunch of yeah. filth and God yeah. right out of hell? Time will change. Yeah, great. Show me one time in the scripture where God said, I'm going to change. Mm. You know why? Because when it comes to the word of God, you know what he said? He said, this is it. That's it. Ain't gonna change. Here's the thing. I ain't gonna get up and debate about different translations of Bible and all stuff like that, because here's the truth. If you want the real translation of the Bible, go back and get the Greek and Hebrew and Swahili. Yeah. And if you can't speak Greek, you can't speak Hebrew, you can't speak Swahili, <laughs> then you ain't got a original translation. Right. Child Horror, excuse me, Mike Jackson got asked this, I'll never forget this. That's it. You don't preach out of the real Bible, it said. You don't preach out of the Greek version. <laughs> this is what he said. He said, there ain't no Greeks here tonight, dummy. <laughs> 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 but I'll tell you this. If whatever translation you in, if it don't convict sin and point you to Jesus, you better get rid of it. If it changes sin and changes that there is another way other than the blood of the Lamb, you better chunk that thing in somewhere. Right. Why? Because time, the Word of God is it. Yeah, right. Amen. Matter of fact, it can't be old, it cannot be changed. Mm -hmm. We've got to get back refocused on the Lamb of God. Yeah. Get back focused on Jesus, pointing people to Jesus, and showing people to be why. Because, listen. This world is lost and going to hell. Amen. Lost and going to hell. And guess whose responsibility is? He sent his word 
And the power of the Holy Ghost come our way and tear the dust and say, Guess what? Jerry! He said, If this community goes to hell, he said, If your neighborhood goes to hell, guess what I'm going to hold responsible? Tag. If you find them because you neglected to show them Jesus, nah, you God didn't save you. You keep Jesus to yourself. And if that's the Jesus that you're serving, you can get out of the way and let somebody else get on board. Amen. is as well is God has tagged some people here this morning with salvation and said you're lost tag you're it it's up to you right now do you realize that somebody's eternity is in the balance right now somebody right now is going to leave out of here rejecting Christ be doomed to hell for all eternity. And somebody is going to say yes to Jesus today. But here's the thing. Tag. You're it. Now what you going to do? What you going to do? Go ahead, brother. 